For some people, having your name in lights is a good thing, but not for a lot of people in the village of East Aurora who are saying no way tonight to a sign lit up with LED lights. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley on this story tonight. I, I think the feeling of the village board right now is that they would not okay this. They are bright, colorful, sometimes animated, but not everyone wants a digital LED sign in their neighborhood. Somebody's trying to see what that sign is saying as it crawls by. Are they really watching the road? The East Aurora Union Free School District was in the process of installing a digital sign that would have scrolling information on it and placed in front of the middle school on Main Street. But the village stepped in to stop it. We contacted our code enforcement officer and there's a stop order that's issued with it right now. Normally, public school districts are exempt from local codes, but village officials believe the law allows them to object on the grounds that this digital sign would ruin the historic nature of the area. Just because you can do something doesn't mean it's the correct thing to do. Here's the reason. The digital sign would end up being located directly across the street from the Roy Croft campus, which is a national historic landmark. That you have this old world feeling about it. Now all of a sudden, this electronic digital sign arrives. After years of building up the campus, Roycroft officials have gone on record opposing the sign. We unfortunately feel like this is kind of being forced on us. And others worry that allowing this first digital sign on Main Street could lead to bigger problems. The first one that comes in does open the door to, to other things. Village officials are meeting with the school district tonight with a public forum scheduled for tomorrow. I do know that if, this, if they decide to put the sign up, uh, our option is to take them to court. The public can give their input on the issue at tomorrow night's school board meeting. It starts at 7 p.m. inside the East Aurora Middle School. And coming up at 6 p.m., we'll see how the digital sign issue is also causing concern for other municipalities. At Riley 7, Eyewitness News.